Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, uh, we've got some Skyforge uh, patch notes that are over from Russia. So they're not here yet. Um, actually, I don't even know 100% if they're over yet in Russia. But uh, these are some really important details to go over. Um, they go pretty much all about class balancing and stat balancing, which is pretty much how the entire game works. So as of right now, to give you guys a little rundown, um, most characters, most damage dealers go strength luck because it's kind of just, it's kind of like the meta, you know, it's, it's simple, it works, it's effective, it's easy. There are different variants you could do with, uh, Valor, and there's nothing wrong with going Valor. The problem with it, though, is supports in this game, supports being Alchemists and Lightbinders, share 20% of their stats naturally as an aura. If you're playing a Valor build, and your support is built to support general people, he's a strength luck support. If you're a Valor build, you're not benefiting 100% off your support. And it goes pretty high, so for example, an Alchemist has a buff called Injections, and if they have it talented, they can share 160% of their stats, plus the initial 20%, which goes up to 180%. I don't know if it multiplies in any type of way there, it might. Um, but they share that, their Injections is 8 seconds, and their buff themselves is permanent. So if you're like Strength Luck, and, you're out, and your support is... Sorry, if you're Strength Luck, if your support Strength Luck, and you're like Valor Strength, or Valor Luck, you're not getting 50% of the core stat, uh, which, you know, is, is kind of, kind of sucks because that means your support has to be built exactly like you to properly support you. When you're running 10-man raids, it becomes very niche. But thankfully, they've addressed that situation and uh, they're, they're going to do something about it. So here we go. Let's jump right under these. And if anyone wants to know, I'll link these down below in the comments section as well. So this is a class balance change uh, that's happening over in Russia. I'm not 100% sure if they're there. He said it was announced. Uh, the guy who posted this is named Wick. Um, he's a guy who plays, I believe he plays on the Russian server and he plays here on NA, so he's a very nice guy. And this is, you know, as trustworthy information that we're going to get. So, um, all feedback and service statistics were taken into consideration by the developers. They know they care, so they announced upcoming changes in class balance. No, they will not nerf popular classes. They will instead bring other classes to their level. So this is, this is looking really promising for classes that are not played too often in raids because of their lack of burst damage. Um, therefore, things like, let's see, uh, Kinetics, Berserkers, and Witches are often picked for raids. You may now finally get to see, you know, Monks and Archers, I mean, I guess Archers are kind of there, Monks, Gunners, other stuff being played as well, which is really, really cool. They're not necessarily bad right now, it's just you don't need to have them, and the other classes are so popularly played anyway, it's not like you're going out of your way to get them. They will give other damage dealer classes proper bursts. This is also very good. This means that your own classes will have your own type of uh, sustain, and then everyone is going to have some type of burst for burst phases. They will make useless and unpopular abilities powerful and useful. Spirit and Valor will be beefed up the level, uh, level of usefulness of Strength and Luck. Both support class buffs will be reworked as well. Remember we were just talking about how 20% of their, or their stats are shared. Slots for different ring setups will be added. That's very nice. All those changes will be made step by step starting with the support classes. So far details only about Alchemist and Lightbinder were released. Alchemist. Now he will be using Spirit and Luck. Uh, what that means is I guess he benefits more off of Spirit and Luck. And will heavily rely on Discharge Recovery and Critical Chance. His Might, Strength, Luck, Valor, Spirit buffs will be calculated off of his Spirit and Luck. Cooldown timers on Stimulant inje Injection, which is your stat transfer, um, will not be tied only to quality of his weapon, but also Impulse Discharge. Each discharge will reduce the cooldown of his buffs. Bio Trap Bonus will be tied to Alchemist Crit Chance, and Critical Hits will recover more Catalyst. Now, some people would like this and some people don't like this, because this kind of forces you to play kind of like one type of build, but at the same time, it forces you to actually play something. So right now on my Witch, I'm Strength Luck, and I can just swap over to an Alchemist with literally no penalty. The only thing I, I swap out is, like, maximum health on my rings. That's it. Here, it actually is kind of niching out the characters, which I personally like, because right now Skyforge feels really weird. You can just play any class with their global setup, and you're not really getting penalized for not changing things. Um, Lightbinder. Now the Lightbinder will use Valor Spirit and rely on Discharge Recovery and Temper. His stats will be uh, calculated based on Valor and Spirit. His Mass and Vulnerability Skill Cooldown and Unstable Shield will be reduced to his Impulse Charge stat. Blessing of Sun will grant a fixed percent to damage, 
and an extra percent of damage from his temper. Incarnation of Light will grant damage reduction and bonus damage based on temper stat. Since support class will buff all stats at once, each damage dealer class will now be able to use any stat build that fixes him, or that fits him. Which is really, really, really cool because that's not how it works right now. So this means that the supports are kind of tied into a locked role, but that means everyone else in the game can play whatever they want and they're still benefiting the same off of their support. <clears throat> a serious rework announced for him, but without any... Oh. Oh, this is for the gunner. Sorry, the gunner. A serious rework announced for him, but without any details yet. Besides his favorite stats, strength, valor. For now, it's all details. So, this is something that is pretty, pretty cool. The one really big issue I see with this is that they're not going to be resetting the Ascension Atlas. And, um, you know, when you're doing things like this, you need to make sure your Ascension Atlas is spec towards it. So now, since, uh, you know, Alchemists and Lightbinders are, are set to be certain ways, you have to make sure you're picking up the proper talents in the Ascension Atlas. And if you are stacking the, the single nodes of stats, that kind of ruins your character. So... I would like to see some type of Ascension Atlas reset. I highly doubt they're ever going to put it in. But I think for for changes like this, it's almost kind of warranted. You know, it's... Yeah, like, it's it's pretty big, man. That's a drastic change. But overall, I'm very happy to see, you know, some dynamic changes happening to Skyforge. Because it's going to keep me playing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Um, and, uh, remember, if you like the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and you can catch me streaming daily at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day.